FM, it's Jesse. We're hanging out backstage at Rocket Town in Fort Lauderdale with Group One Crew. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of Happy July. Happy Fourth. Go America. Yeah. yeah, you guys look very festive. Are there any fun like Fourth of July kind of you know things that you have to do every year? Of course. We like to um, look at the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> we actually read it all. We memorize it. And um, we like it. to study Herbie Hancock's signature. Can you recite the Bill of Rights for me right now? I said Herbie Hancock. It's yeah, Johnny Hancock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but to everybody, <laughs> it is from a movie. Oh, okay. From well, Tommy well. Boy. He goes, Herbie Hancock. It's awesome. <laughs> I tend to like to watch Independence Day because I think the president's oh, speech yeah. at the end is like the best. Independence Day. Yeah, yes. Definitely. Yes, that's a good one. Well, huge year. You're getting married. New album last year. Dub Awards. Mm -hmm. How are you guys feeling right now? Do you feel like you're on cloud nine? Do you feel like you're overwhelmed? Or are you just like, all right, on to the next thing? I think we're definitely more on to the, the next. next thing. On to the next. More like we're really excited to yeah. see what's happening next for Group One Crew. We're in the studio. We're working. We're we're just always trying to stay on our toes and keep it moving. So. Because we've been able to accomplish a lot. I think God has opened a lot of doors for us. But at the same time, we almost feel like it's still the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like just it's just begun. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, we're just on to the next thing and just trying to see how. Uh, we could get our music across with more people, you know. Awesome. Now, I've heard people describe the new album this way, and I read it, too, that it's the most mainstream album that you guys have put out. How do you react to that? Is it, like, weird to you that people always kind of want to, you know, make that big division between, like, Christian music and secular music? Or, like, how do you respond to that? I think I think it's accurate. It's exactly what it is. Um, I think the... The name mainstream has a bad connotation, you know? When people think mainstream, they automatically think sellout. When the definition of mainstream, that just means mainstream America. That's all it means. It means it was the music was not made for a niche people group. It was made for Christians and non-Christians alike. So it's just when you tag mainstream on it, people automatically think, oh, it's secular. They're they're just secular. And it's People not, get freaked out. They're like, oh, this has yeah. a cool beat. Yeah. It when must be whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. really all mainstream means is that it's just from mainstream America. Meaning, you know Jesus, you don't know Jesus. You know, you love him, you hate him. You can listen to our music and get something from it. Which is, I mean, I think that should be every Christian man's goal. You know? So, um... That's yeah. We made a we made a mainstream record. Yeah, yeah, we did. I, I think a lot of people frown on that that term, but like us on our end, when we hear that, it's almost as a compliment because they they automatically associate mainstream with good quality music, you know. So for us, it's a very very cool thing because we're like, okay, we're we we, we kind of reached the goal, you know what I'm saying? And then on the next album that we're actually working on, if it's even pushing that envelope even more, you know? But we really, it's not something that we try to do. We're not like in the studio like, let's see how, you know, how close to secular we can get, you know? It's, it doesn't work that way. We just, we go in, we make music we love, because on the same record, you know, you'll hear a uh, manipulation, which sounds extremely mainstream, but then we'll do a Please Don't Let Me Go, which is utterly, overtly just Jesus, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like we go in with the attempt of, Let's just try to sound as secular as we can and still stay safe, you know? We just write from our heart. Whatever comes out, it'll come out. You know what I'm saying? So right. And I think as Christians also, if we claim to serve, like, such a creative God, it's kind of like if we're not constantly pushing ourselves as artists, are we really reflecting Him very well? You know? So true. But I think the awesome thing about our music, and I say it all the time, is that it meets every type of thing that you go through. You know, and we're Christians. That doesn't mean we're like robots. You know, like we want to hear about love. We want to hear about heartbreak. We want to hear about having a good time. We want to hear about drawing closer to God. All these things that are life issues that we deal with on the day to day. So why can't we write music about that? You know, I think the minute we start talking about a relationship or something, it's like, oh, that's that's not Christian music. But do you go through that? Is that something that you've struggled with or have been in a situation where? You know, you've been hurt or you love someone so much. Like, let's talk about it. Let's sing about it. Let's write a song. We're going to wrap this up because obviously we're getting really close to the show time. But festivals and some shows we're in the studio like I said earlier um, working on our new project working on some Spanish songs for our Latinos Latinos are gonna like that we like yes. to hear 
South Florida. And um, we're going on our own tour, out of space tour, in the fall with Sean Locke. And then we're going rocking and worship road show with Mercy Me and hopefully some, some cool stuff next year as well. So it's going to be jam packed. Keep posted on group1crew.com. Check out all our tour, our shows, our blogs. I know you guys check those out. I was checking out the dance video, and I, so I was practicing my sidestep. Yeah. What I have to say, okay, to backtrack, why don't you give it a little backtrack on your dance contest you've been having. We did a dance contest online on our website, and we showed them a few simple moves that they can do at our show to kind of, you know, if you don't have the rhythm, it still makes you look like you do. So, Especially at a concert, you've got so many other people around you that like you can pretty much be standing still, just kind of like, you know, leverage yourself between a couple people, and you're yeah. good. Still, yeah, like golden. Well, when you guys tour with Mercy Me, you have to get in. Have you seen that like cover song grab bag thing that they do? No. When they're on tour, they'll just get like other bands that are with them, and they'll cover random songs. Like they've covered stuff from the Jungle Book. And, like, really? Yeah, they'll like grab a ukulele. It's all on YouTube. So you guys better start thinking now. Come up with some songs for sure. So cool! I give up. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great show. Check them out online, group1crew.com. Group